Hi, this is Angela Hardy, uh, kinesiologist at Cloud9. This little video is about um, building self-esteem, self-love, self-acceptance. So I'm writing a whole thing about this. Um, it's long, it's involved, there's a lot of different things that you can do around this thing, there's a lot of different things to understand around um, self-love and self-acceptance. But what I want to do with this video is just give you one little tool that um, is probably the best possible tool to build a sense of self-love and self-esteem. Um, really what this tool is about, it's about shifting your focus. It's about shifting your focus away from the things that you don't like and onto the things that you do like. Now, you know, there's this big worry like, oh, if I don't pay attention to things I don't like about myself, then I'll never change anything and I'll never work towards being a better person and, and, and. Well, that's really not true. You know, it's much more powerful to work from a position of self-acceptance and, and liking yourself than it is to work from a position of hating yourself. In fact, there's very little energy, there's very little motivation, there's very little anything involved um, in hating yourself that leads you to be able to change. So being able to be okay with yourself, being able to be accepting of yourself, that's a much more powerful place to be in when you're looking at becoming better at working on you know, something personally. So I really encourage, I encourage you to use this exercise if you have any issues with self-esteem or self-acceptance or self-love. Um, and uh, you know, watch the space because there'll be a whole lot more coming around this issue. So the exercise that I'd like you to do is start um, a self-esteem diary, okay? And um, if you've ever heard of a gratuity diary, this is actually very similar. A gratuity diary is where you write down each night at the end of the day three or five things that you're grateful for during the day. So what that does is it takes you away from thinking that your life is crap and puts your focus on looking for the things for you to be grateful for. And because your focus is not on proof and ways in which you're um, confirming that life is crap and instead on proof that actually there's a lot to be grateful for out there because you're looking for those things, the gratuity diary is a very, very powerful technique of helping you to see the world in a different way and to see actually how good your life is and how grateful you know you could be through that and so the self-esteem diary is very similar and actually I suggest that you do both of these together if you can manage to summon up the courage um, the self-esteem diary is uh, it's sort of similar what you're going to do is you're going to look for and write down three to five things a day for which you are grateful for yourself proud of yourself and pleased with yourself um, and, and for which you're pleased and grateful for and um, noticed the way that other people treated you also. So, you know, one of the problems with self-esteem is that people around us tell us things all the time that are very complimentary, but we don't believe them. We choose not to believe them sometimes because we think that, the, you know, they're just talking rubbish because I should know that I'm not a good person or whatever the case may be, right? So we tend to ignore all the evidence that tells us that we're okay as we are and we're, we're good enough as we are and we can accept ourselves for what we are and instead focus all that attention on how we're no good and how we fail and how you know sometimes we slip up and you know how we don't succeed in something or we're not good at something in particular so when you turn your attention because you know that at the end of the day you're going to have to write down three to five things you start to look for ways in which you can be pleased with your performance. And, you know, it doesn't have to be great, big, miraculous changes or, or big things at all. You know, it could be that today I sat down with a bar of chocolate and I put all my attention on that bar of chocolate and I really enjoyed that bar of chocolate instead of just scoffing it down and not tasting it. You know, there's no reason not to be pleased with that. Today I, you know, I, 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 I smiled at somebody in the supermarket and it looked like it brightened their day. Today somebody smiled at me in the supermarket and it certainly brightened my day. You know, so it could be little things like that and it can be bigger things as well. Today I did something that, that took courage. Uh, you know, maybe I phoned up somebody and asked them for sponsorship or, you know, whatever it is. It took courage and I'm proud of myself for that courage. Today I worked hard at something and I'm proud of myself for working hard at that thing, regardless of failure or success. Today maybe I succeeded at something and I'm proud of that. 
Today, I failed at something, but I was kind to myself and I was gentle in that failure. And I'm proud of that. So, you, it, you know, it doesn't have to be a big thing. It's a way of changing your thinking. Success or failure is going to happen. It's going to be a constant in your life. Success and failure, success and failure. In fact, they always say fail four times before you can succeed once. You have to learn to live with that. And one of the best ways to learn to live with that is to be in a place where you can see that you're okay. You can accept yourself. You're okay, no matter whether you succeeded or failed today. So there's a the little exercise. It's the challenge for the week. Um, good luck with it. It, um, it takes practice for many people who find that they have low self-esteem. It takes a lot of work. Um, but it really is an amazingly powerful exercise. It's amazingly uh, worthwhile to do because it really shifts your focus. And, you know, our mind, our, our, our reality, our life, it's all happening inside our own heads. We're only seeing what we're expecting to see. We're only, we're only affirming what we're expecting to affirm in our lives. And until we can shift that focus, it's all going to stay the same. And we're going to stay, feel the same way about ourselves. So if you want to have more self-esteem and self-love, this is a really powerful exercise. And I recommend it. Have a beautiful day.